So look, Enchanted Portals was just a fail. Let's say it. It was a fail for the players, and it was a failure for the devs. Depression sets in. But then, out of nowhere, I get a message from my friend Chris of Squid Shark Studios asking if I'd seen the new footage of another Cuphead-like game. Now, if you have frequented this channel, you know how I feel about clones versus inspiration. For example, Crowsworn wears its inspirations on its sleeve, and to a lesser extent, Bo. I didn't even really have a problem with Enchanted Portals. While you can see Cuphead, it has its own art style. It tries to have its own identity and theme. Ladies and gentlemen, The Last Cup. Yep, that's the name. They put Cup in the title. That's like naming your Dark Souls-inspired Souls-like game The Last Soul, or The Darkest Soul. What the hell? Look, I know indie dev is difficult. I know how difficult creative work can be, but you gotta do better than that for a name. First of all, what on earth does this game have to do with a cup besides being inspired by Cuphead? The character isn't a cup, isn't holding a cup, or shooting a cup. There are no cup enemies. When the title of your game is literally attempted to just relate your game to its inspiration, you get Lotus Knight. The fan base is going to clown you, and the main character is shooting ink. At this point, why not name the game The Inky Cup? Just so you are super obvious with it. This is actually kind of marketing inception. The name of a game is always meant for marketing, but the name of this game is meant for marketing by drawing in an audience based off of the name of another game made for marketing. It's marketing inside of marketing, and it's stupid, and this analogy is stupid. Now, I made the comparison to Lotus Knight, but that's not entirely fair. The quality we have seen from The Last Cuphead is actually way higher. The animation is actually pretty good. The main character's sprite work is decent. There will be a comparison to Glumstone Gnomes, but whatever, the name is already enough. We got a short teaser from the studio Super Hard Games. <laughs> I actually can't tell if this is a practical joke or not, by the way. Like, The Last Cup, from Super Hard Games. You know, because Cuphead was super hard and- Yes, difficulty is a selling point of Cuphead. You'd be very hard pressed to find someone who loves Cuphead but hates the challenge. But naming yourselves Super Hard Game Studio is basically me changing my channel name to Very Good Video Channel. Actually, if I did that, at least I wouldn't have bro in my name. Then we get the first glimpse at a boss with Disney's class action lawsuit, The Last Goofy. The only real thing I can say about this guy is that both his and your projectiles are the same color black, which is just a really odd design choice in a bullet hell game and like, not what you want at all. I should also mention my personal favorite boss they showed off on Twitter, Mr. Ghost's Clown Boss. Yeah, no, that's actually the name of the boss. Here is the, a dog hooked up to your mom's shopping cart boss fight. Here's Femboy Goofy. This one is almost too similar to Sally Stage Play's fight. Don't forget Thick Snow Mommy with penguins dropping stuff on you. This is actually the mom of the dog holding onto the shopping cart. More lore theories coming soon. And look, it's okay to take inspiration, but on top of everything, you copy the boss progress bar, but it's different because it's vertical? Here are the positives. Animation is good. The grainy filter really does just invite even more of a comparison to Cuphead though. They also showed off the airplane level sprites, and the flying squirrel is adorable. But come on, you have to have at least some original ideas in your game, where it really just becomes why don't I just play Cuphead. The reason there's so much excitement for Crowsworn is because it gives the same feel of Hollow Knight, while also giving fresh ideas, new mechanics, a different world and lore, a new aesthetic, a new map, and it isn't solely tied to the Hollow Knight thing. The Last Cup really is just Cuphead at home, and if that's the case, the only way people will buy this game is if it's way cheaper than Cuphead. Indie game dev is a business, and it is about making at least enough money to get to the next project. I can already tell you this will not cut it for a 20 United States dollar game. Devs, don't give up on this game. You clearly have talent. Go back to the drawing board with the title of the game for starters, please. Try to separate the vibe of the game a little from Cuphead. If you're trying to go for a more Disney-type animation with the goofy stuff, why are you using Fleischer animation techniques? And this is just a first look. By no means the end product, but then again, it's got a summer 2024 release date, so it must be pretty far along. I'm gonna keep an eye on this project, of course, and I'm absolutely open to having my mind changed, and you viewers should as well. But at the same time, it's kind of funny, isn't it? Like, I wonder which will end up being better, Lotus Knight versus The Last Cup. Alright, I'm putting a patent on that video idea.
Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm the Mossiest Bag, and subscribe to my channel.